following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom, oh, oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taken by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man, yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Tom O'Brien. I'm usually the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour. That's noon to 1 p.m. Eastern Time every day, every market day, I should say. And I'm also the author of the opening call of the comprehensive daily newsletter that goes out every day. So it's my pleasure to be here. And what we're going to be looking at right now is the Dow. The Dow is up 142. Very nice. Uh, it broke. Um, if you're looking at the left side chart, this is the daily chart. Here is the weekly chart. Here is the monthly on the right. So the daily chart, there are patterns that I look at. Let me just run this really quickly. In the Chapman Wave methodology, I believe there are only three patterns that we look at straight up, straight down the arch formation or the cup formation, and then you can get a variation. And that variation says if you take out that left side low, that's why it's red. It can go quite a lot lower. And the light green one, the Y, inverted Y, so we call this the dreaded H, the lowercase H. And this is the Y, inverted Y formation. Take out that left side high, you can go quite a bit higher. We're only looking for higher peaks in the Chapman wave. Uh, we count them alphabetically on the way up. A, B, C, D, it can go E, F, and G. But that fourth highest peak is where we start to look at something happening that could be different. So let's go to it. What are we looking at? Here's the cup formation. Had a really nice sell signal in the Dow at this peak D at 27,398. Actually, we had the sell signal at 27,391 on June, July the 16th. And we were, I'd like to just short all the way down. We did cover. We've got other issues that have been uh, long all the way up here. And what we're looking at is finally we're in a leg D. And you see this little dashed green line? This is called the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target Repellent Line. And that takes you to about 27,190. However, right here, there are a bunch of uh, resistance levels that we're going to see whether the Dow can pierce. So far, this is a very good action. The MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, is strong. Stochastic is 96%. That is really strong. So any pullback should be short term. It should take a, quite a while for us to reverse to even get to a sell signal. Probably you'd have to go deeply underneath 26,700 to be able to get that. Let's see what happens here. So far, it's all positive. The weekly chart is improving. It isn't great. The technicals are improving slowly. That monthly chart had a nine-month consolidation from January um, of 2018 at 26,616 pulls back to the 23,300s, rallies to an all-time high nine months later at 26,951 in October of 2018, plummets to the December low of 21,712, and then rallies in nine months, it takes you to a leg C at 27,398. Um, and now I've been expecting that we would have some kind of consolidation that goes into September. We'll see if September starts a brand new high or not. That'll start laying D in the monthly chart. So let's go on. We've got the S&P also up nicely. S&P is up right now. It's up 13 points at uh, 29.93. Right in the 29.93 uh, to 95 area is strong resistance. But this is recycled up. The MACD is good. The stochastics is 98, 94%. The weekly is starting to improve. It's not great, but the pattern is actually improving. And their monthly chart is still very strong. This is only at a peak A. It's a little weird. They have these divergences in letters in the in the Chapman wave. The QQQ, the NDX 100, is trading at 192.03, up $1.39. It's about to hit some kind of resistance in the 193s, but so far this is good, not great action. Why? Well, if you look at Amazon, look at this. Amazon's been struggling. It's only up 0.09 right now at 1820. Made a major top 
um, at 2050, runs down to 1307 last year, and then runs back up to the 100, uh, uh, 2035 area. Now it's trading at 1820. It's really struggling. And so is, you know, Facebook. So you've got your, your fan stocks not working. But I have a, what I call for years, decades, I've had it as an index. It's not really an index. It's only four stocks in the Dow. It used to be GE, IBM, Triple M, and U U T United Technologies. Now it's Caterpillar to take the place of GE. So Caterpillar, look at this beautiful move to the upside at 131.95. There's that cup formation. It's trying to go for a left side, right side price time match before the uh, 18th of uh, September, it should try for 134.90. Uh, we'll see if it's able to do that. But this is very strong. It's only a leg B. The MACD is good. Stochastic is good. Weekly chart is improving. It's not great. And the same thing with the monthly. Now, for subscribers, I must mention, we are actually long from the uh, um, Caterpillar from the 122 area a few days ago. Uh, then if you look at IBM, IBM's had a really good move. It's down today, down two. But look at this. It went from 129s to the 145s in just uh, two weeks. That's very good. Of course, it came down quickly as well. So IBM's acting quite nicely. Triple M, uh, one, two, three. This is 3M company is uh, down to $1.47, but it's also come off the low very nicely. Whoops, there's that pattern that I was just showing you a moment ago. Let me go back again to my charts. There are. This is leg C in triple M. And wait a minute, UTX, United Technologies. I mean, this is a multinational company. This is probably uh, one of the more important uh, stocks in the Dow historically. And it goes back to 1920s. It's in leg D at 135. It's acting really well. This is cup formation. And its weekly chart is really much better. And so is the um, monthly. I have another index. It's called the cash index. It's uh, Sintas, which is overalls. And that may be a little cautious uh, recently. Uh, overalls, uh, uniform rentals. Sintas is down three. It was at 270.36, makes a double top at 270.24, 12 cents lower, V-shaped pattern, plop, it comes down, very sharp. I'm a little concerned, peak F in the weekly chart. This really tells me a little bit about the economy, so I'm going to be watching this one very closely. In fact, that chart right now reminds me very much of the TLT. The, look at this, the TLT has also had a little double top, and then it's come down quite sharply. That is the bonds. Lehman 20-year Treasury bond fund down five cents here. So bonds have had a spectacular move. You can only imagine that they they need a breather of sorts just day in and day out throughout the world. You kept hearing about recessions and inverted yield curve, etc. Look at this big cup formation. I actually let me show you something very interesting. This is the weekly chart. Look at this. It goes from July of 2016 at 143.62 down to a low, the most recent low of 111.90 in November of this uh, of last year. And then it runs back in a shorter time span. It goes all the way to 140. Was that 48? 148.90. And now it's pulled back. Right? It deserves a bit of a break, right? So that's what we're looking at. I'll get into some of the other details. We'll look at some of the stocks in a moment. I also want to look at the gold stocks. Uh, you know, Tom, of course, is the is really the, the the maestro of gold stocks. So we'll look at that. The GDX right now is up a little bit. It's pulled back from the 30 area. I'll be back in a moment. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Go get them, folks. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. here for Tom O'Brien. Tom's out this afternoon. It's my pleasure to be here. And I have a special guest. I have Steve Dahl from Taz Market Research. Always just a great pleasure to be able to speak to Steve. Steve, hi, how are you? I am doing so fine here. A little uh, high humidity late summer run here in Chicago. So I'm keeping cool inside in front of these markets. And you you also want to keep bottling this because you want to open that little <laughs> bottle in January, right? That is the truth. This is, uh, you know, as well as I, a, a trader's dream volatility. Markets are moving daily, and um, it's really been a delight this year. It's been some of the best markets for traders. So I, I, if, you, if you don't mind, um, I know that you've mentioned this many times, but we always have new listeners. Could you just tell us uh, briefly exactly what you do, what you're offering here at TFNN, and about your fabulous program? This, uh, this is really a beautiful piece of software. Well, wonderful. I appreciate those kind words. Um, so Taz Market Profile um, is, as the name would suggest, a, a company that provides analytics uh, based in the market profile method, which um, for a lot of people is maybe old hat because it's been around since the 80s. But the way we do it has really modernized it and made it a little less gray area and a lot more, well, we say green and red as opposed to black and white. Um, it's, it's a really you know, it's a unique way of looking at the market. Um, instead of um, trying to make decisions based exclusively on classic technical analysis, we actually reformulate volume, Basil, and we, we give you some insight into where those high traffic zones or what we call volume aggregation zones are, which is just fancy for saying the most popular place to trade on any chart uh, and um, b being aware of being able to know when it's time to get long, get short, or when it's time to sit on your hands because market's likely to go sideways. So you use those volumes like magnets, and when when they when when price is getting close, it tells you that there's some kind of a uh, uh, there's some kind of unification where people are very satisfied that this is in the range, and as soon as it breaks out the range, this is what it's telling you up or down. Exactly. It's it's no different than when you get in your car and you hit it, head into a big city and there's a lot of cars on the road. There's a lot of activity uh, in a city and that means you slow down. You still may eventually get to your destination between point A and point B, but if you come into a big city, you know as well as I am from Chicago land here. 
a little congestion. Yeah. So knowing when the market's going to slow down is very valuable information because you can use that to obviously pinpoint some targets or know whether it's worthwhile to be in heading into that traffic altogether. Uh, yeah, I had a chuckle because there was an article saying that Boston, where I'm, yeah, I'm just a, like eight miles away from the city itself, um, Boston has the highest and longest commuter uh, uh, time in the country, but is also number one of the top ten in the world. And this used to be just a big college town. That's what's happened. So, um, so tell us, um, is, could you give us something on your uh, the actual profiles right now so that now we can get into the nitty gritties of exactly what folks can look at every day? Absolutely. If, uh, if you're able to see my screen here in the Tiger's Den, I'm actually highlighting uh, Apple here, which is one of the, of course, many stocks in the S&P 500 and NASDAQ um, that we feature in our um, TAS Profile Scanner product. And really the, the, the gist of what we're, we're doing here within the software is we're identifying what we call value zones or fair auctions, uh, which is just a market profile enthusiast way of saying the balance zone. And if you, uh, if you take a look at the bottom right of the feature, which we call the landscape chart over here, you'll notice that we see this yellow line, which you can't miss there, is above all four time frames from weekly, daily, four hour and 60 minute, and it's been good to be long Apple, and that would give you an explicit cue to know that you're better Beautiful. off. Beautiful. Look at Apple better, today. Yeah, look at it today. And uh, again, another great day uh, in Apple. And um, the, the big takeaway for uh, traders that are new to our product uh, as they're working through the learning curve is the fact that you know, half the battle to being a successful trader and doing this well and for a very long time is is being able to identify where the probabilities are greatest. Notice I didn't say certainties, probabilities, because right. there's no such thing as certainties in, in markets, um, but even just being able to eliminate one side of the market. So at least you're focused on the direction that has some probabilities. Then it just becomes an analysis uh, of whether the risk and volatility is suitable for your individualized risk tolerance. And um, as far as subscribers are concerned, they can go to the front page of TFNN, right, and just uh, sign up that way. You, you got it. And, you know, uh, Tom has put together a very nice uh, risk-free first 30-day money-back guarantee. So it really is a, a risk-free opportunity for you to come on in and uh, test drive the product. And it doesn't usually take folks but a few days to figure out they can't live without it. And that's obviously good news for us. But it's yeah, really good fabulous. news. It's, re it's really good news for them. That's the big I play. also recall that you and Tommy did a, a, a webinar in, in great detail just recently. So that's we, we available did, to them as well. We did. If you those that go on to subscribe and try out the product will have immediate access to that workshop which we hosted, and um, we're going to do another one, I think, in the near horizon. So stay tuned for that as well. Oh, fabulous! Good. Yeah, this I, I I am really impressed. I mean, you have done. It's not that you've done a great job. It's just that the maturity at this level um, is has really put it into a different category altogether. I really appreciate that. There's, uh, it's a fiercely competitive space. There's a lot of tools out there. There's a lot of analytics, and there's a lot of opinions. Let's face it, and we respect a lot of our peers in in their work as well as they do us. And uh, while it may not be right for everybody, it it, it definitely could be a real eye opener for for the right type of investor and trader. Well, that's fabulous. Thank you, Steve. So just to tell everyone, go to the front page of TFNN. You'll see it right there. It has market profile. And uh, Steve Dahl is uh, he's the one that's uh, the lead, the lead voice there. So thank you so much for being able to uh, discuss it here. And um, that I, I, I do admire what you've done. It's a fabulous program. Thank, thank you kindly. And we'll be in touch again soon. Thank you very much for calling. Bye -bye. That's Steve Dahl, has Market Profiles. Check out the front page. And here I've got the chart of Apple. Look at this beautiful. It's breaking. This is the, one of the few FANG stocks that's closer to its all-time highs. Right now it's trading at 222 up 5. Good call, Steve. I uh, Congratulations. Very good. And the weekly chart you can see is just broken out. So uh, there's that pattern that it was in this rectangle formation in the weekly chart for some time. And this is a fabulous move. Look at the monthly chart. I, I love to do this. I like to grab the outer limit of the, um, there we go, outer limits, it takes you from 233 high of October of 2018, 142 round number low, and now what you've got is, I call this Chapman Wave buy signal within the rectangle formation should take you close to 
or up against or just above the previous high, which is the all-time high of 233. We've got, hey, 233, that's 11 points to go. Doesn't give you a time frame, but it does say that it's very close to uh, uh, breaking out of the monthly chart because that uh, peak B was at 222, was it? Let me just double check. 221.37 and right now we're at 222.44 so this doesn't work on a closing basis because all you need to do is break it by one penny that starts your leg c to the upside and the magd in the monthly has finally turned up it took forever it took from all of last year as it was breaking down in november where the magd turned negative finally it's turned positive very good call thank you uh, pointing it out steve i'll be right back basil chapman sitting for tom o'brien the dow is up 160 s and is up 15. i'll be right back and i am the host of the tiger technicians hour noon to 1 p.m every day but it's a pleasure to be here at 3 p.m If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week, live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear trading hour followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Sitting here for Tom O'Brien. Tom's out this afternoon. It's my pleasure to be here. I'm the author of the opening call daily newsletter and the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, noon to 1 p.m. Eastern Time every day. Dow's up 158. Look at the GDX. The GDX had a spectacular move. It goes from around about the 20 area, and that was in April. And here we are screaming to the high of September the 4th at 30.96, 10 points. Um, close to 30%. This is very good. So 
now it's having a bit of a pullback. Question I was asked, and uh, a number of just coincidence, a number of people had asked me in the den and uh, emails, what about the GDX? And I told subscribers I'll have a, a, a a more detailed look at the the GDX, which is the gold market vectors minus ETF. Tom O'Brien's doing a webinar. He's the you know the master of gold. Uh, he'll be doing a webinar next week. Check it out on the front page of TFNN and for his gold report. So look at this beautiful cup formation from 3179 back in August of 2016 in the monthly chart. It was once upon a time at 66.98 with a double top. Uh, that was back in round about uh, 2012, uh, 2011, going into a, a decline, breaks out down in 2012, and then it down, goes down to $12.40, runs up to 31.79, so $12 uh, that goes in, I think it was December, January, January of 2016, and then it runs up to uh, the August of 2016 high of 31.79, and then it makes a cup formation. It's more like a bowl formation, meaning it's taken a long time. It's sort of stretched out, more like a little doggy bowl and what you have here is um, a retracement going back to the 200 period moving average which it broke down from way back in February of 2013 when it went under 40. So this orange line right here is in leg C 31.87 is the resistance what was the high did I say it was 30 30.90 let me just get that exactly right uh, yeah 30.96 so we're looking at uh, the MACD finally turning up, stochastics at 85%. All of those are good, and it's only in leg C in the weekly chart. I'm suspe suspecting that at some point you're going to get a leg D, and it's going to climb to the 32s. But what happens in the interim? Well, look at this peak E top that was made, I call it a top just for now, um, in the weekly chart, the middle chart. You see the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence. You see when it crossed negative back there, uh, going into the April downturn, and then you see how it crossed positive right here. Uh, that was back in June of 2019, around about the 22 area. When it went all the way to 30.96, pulls back sharply in two, uh, in two weeks. It's given back a little bit more than it made in those two weeks up. And now it says it's below the nine period green uh, moving average and it's going to the black 2715 level, uh, 14 period exponential moving average. If it goes under it, there's a chance that MACD will cross negative and then you've got to say to yourself, aha, until the nine and the 14 cross negative, it's a hint that the MACD is saying weakness is there how the whole 26s area holds is going to be really important. Starts to close at 25 to 24. Uh, that's going to be a much deeper correction in time and probably in price before it has another big leg up. So the spectacular move that we've seen in many of these gold stocks, I used, I like to use ASA, just the only reason is I'm originally from South Africa. This, is how, this has South African stocks. It's made up, I think, of six major stocks, uh, ASA, gold and precious metals. I, I just use it because it's, for me, a, a nice benchmark of what's going on. But it made a double top at that peak E, at 13.75, that was on 28th of August. Retests just under at 13.73 on the 4th of September. You see already the MACD and stochastic were fading. Now it's pulled back, and I suspect it has to go at 12.44. It has to go somewhere into the 12.20 to 11.80 area. That's where the big test comes. So let's put it in context of the GDX. There could be a bounce at any point. It could go 28.80 to 20, I'd say 28. 85, no, 28, I'm not sure 28.10 would be, that would be the maximum that I could see on a bounce after such a big move. It's probably going to need some deeper consolidation. But watch 27.70 right now, watch the 27.20 area. So as to close under that, it says, uh-oh, a little bit longer in time, a little bit longer in price after a spectacular move. So you can put that into context with the TLT. The TLs had, TLT's had a spectacular move, goes to 148.90, trading right now at 140.50. That is a deep decline, but it's only a deep decline in the context of uh, most the most latest uh, two-week move. Look what had happened before. And as I said, it went all the way from the 200 period exponential moving average in April back in the 122 area, and it screams up to 148, 20 something points. That is a big move. So it's coming back. 
it's the same sort of thing. It's under right now. The, we're only midweek, so we can't talk about it as if it's Friday afternoon close. But it's at 140.51. If it closes at about 141.80 to 142.35. I'd say that's good action. If it goes even higher between now and Monday, that's going to be even better. For, it means you're raising the base. But if it doesn't hold any gain and it starts to break, 138.30s is the 14-period moving average in the uh, weekly chart. And that's kind of what I'm looking at over a period of maybe two, three weeks. That's the test. That's the big test. And um, after a spectacular move, you can just understand that it has to pull back a little bit. It's the same thing with gold. If you look at the gold price, look, there is gold. I drew the rectangle. 1488 on the continuous contract starts to close underneath that 1477 says you've got a little more time in your hand than 1465 will be the test the 14 period moving average hey wait a minute what about um what about the semiconductors because the semiconductors even though the billings reports have been very poor i'm not sure what they are over the last month and a half but they had been very poor yet it is now two points away from an all-time high just look at this monthly chart breaking out. It had a leg B, then a peak B, brand new. If it goes above 123.56 in September, I have to tell you, that's a new leg. See, that is really bullish, and that's going to be bullish for the overall market because the semiconductors led, very often lead the way up and lead the way down in the general market. And uh, they made a high back in July. Uh, at 123.56, the Dow um, made its most recent high, not uh, the most recent high, July the 15th, and it pulled back. And it too is underneath its all time high. So we're going to be watching this. Now, you see this weekly chart right here? You see this little dashed green line, rising trend line there? I'll make it a little bit bigger. And here it is. So the green says a close above that would be very positive. But uh, uh, this red line right here this week, it's right at 123.30. Uh, that's just a fraction underneath the all-time high. But right there, it says a breakout above that says you can go to the top line. I call this Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. Why? Well, look, if you look at the monthly chart, let me open this up. Look at this. That has been going on since the high that was made way back in June of 2018 at 112, um, there's a rising trend line. And that trend line has what I call that inside track repellent zone. So if it decisively spikes above that, that's very positive. The MACD is good, not great, but good. Stochastic is very weak. It's still only at 66%. And yet the price is moving up, and that's all that counts. So I'm watching this very closely because here yeah, you've got the cup formation. You broke away from this up channel. That's very important. It says the semiconductors. Keep an eye on them. You must not lose track of these guys because the semiconductors are pretty much leaders in many ways because they are in everything. They, they, the chips are in. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't 
miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here, and the Dow's up 177, S&P's up 17. So what I discussed with my um, subscribers to my opening call and my daily newsletter over the weekend was that I'm looking at a rotation possibility, that the old, you know, we've seen Microsoft, we've seen some of the Adobe, we've seen some of the, two, nine, the two, year 2000, huge winners in the dot-com bubble. Uh, get smashed 80%, 85%, 90%, and then they came back and became real winners. Well, I've said that there's a chance that we could start to see the cyclicals, the deep cyclicals, like a United Technologies, like a like a Caterpillar, start to see some life. They've been hammered, and they could be there could be a rotation there. There could be a rotation into the small caps. We're seeing that today and yesterday in the IWM, uh, that's the uh, the Russell 2000. But at the same time, the steel stocks, um, the steel stocks are coming on very nicely. Not great, but the Van Eck Vectors Steel ETF SLX, it's trading at 35.78, hit a low the, just the other day of 31, and and now it's uh, up five points. That that is nice action, not great, but it's done this before and then failed. But it's a good sign that you've got this kind of rotation. So I'm, my consideration here is that. If you find stocks that have been really great companies that have just been beaten down, have a good look at them. I mean, I featured something the other day. We didn't get this because I, there were others that we were looking at. Agilent, Agilent Technologies, spectroscopic solution, improved method, uh, developing, uh, I guess this is, this, this is part of the, um, part of an analysis uh, that they do. And it, it was just a huge winner. And it goes from the 40s all the way to the recent high in September, March of 2019 at 82.27, as a deep plunge into the 63 area. Now it's back at 76. It broke this down channel, this downtrend line right here. I had this as an inside track uh, repellent line. Uh, this is very nice action. Uh, do you buy it here? It's almost uh, back at the recent high that was made in this cup formation. Well, that's you know, it's on your time frame, but just have a look at stocks like this because, as I say, this is only in leg C, so it should go to a D. But at the same time, it's really good that it held so nicely this uptrend line in the monthly chart. It's good that it's made the cup formation in the weekly. It's good that the MACD finally crossed part of stochastic is good. So it says that it has some pretty good support uh, around about the 74 to 73 area if it takes another another dip in the in the next couple of weeks. But this is something that I think is important because there are some people here that are saying, oh, oh big crash coming because of the yields and the bonds are going to skyrocket and yields. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, the, the yields are going to skyrocket and the bonds are going to tank. I don't see it that way. I think the competition for international, uh, for countries to be able to sell their bonds 
is they keep wanting to sell because they keep having expenses that they, you know, every, every city, every name me a city that you know of or, or a town that isn't overspending their budget, that isn't building a bigger school, that isn't expanding the library, whatever it is. And everyone needs money, and that's going to be important. So I think that at least for a little while, for many months to come, uh, the idea of rates being stable and then probably coming down as uh, in the in my methodology, I wouldn't be surprised if we see another big move in the TLT. In this is only a leg C, um, pro, uh, to a leg D uh, towards 150, and then maybe we'll get something different. But I, that that kind of competition is really it's important. And I was also mentioning in my show the Tiger Technicians Hour today at at noon and yesterday. And oh, I should mention tomorrow I'm doing Larry's show. Larry won't be able to do his show tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern time, so I'll be doing that as well as mine. But I mentioned that there are so many of these little stocks like an RRD. This is RR Donnelly. It's way down in the dollar sixty area. And then in two and a half, three weeks time, it's at three forty five. Think of a stock you had 160 and now it's at 345. There are so many of these little ones that what's happening is I think fund managers are now avoiding the Amazons, the the Facebooks, and they are looking at something and Netflix, they're looking at other areas, and they could start to take in some of the lower price. Now, these big moves, I think they almost done right now in the shorter term. Uh, I had a couple more. Uh, red is one. This is um, right aid. Look at that move. Just uh, five dollars uh, two two and a half weeks ago. Now it's doubled. It's it's gone today's high is nine ninety, and this is you know, part of uh, Walgreens uh, uh, right aid trading. It's nine seventy one up sixty five. RAD is the symbol. Uh, it's unusual to see this many at this particular time. So I'm mentioning that. This is, I don't think this is a market that you've got to shy away from, but I also think that it's a market that for the real big winners coming into the last pullbacks, be a little bit careful. But with stocks that have already had deep, deep uh, retracements and are trying to find some support, you might be able to get something that you can hold longer than just a short term. It could turn into an intermediate term buy. So I'm looking at this much more positively. And look at the VIX index, the volatility index, the VIX index trading right now at 14.77. I have a rule of thumb that I've used for a long, long time, as my subscribers know. Going into the 16 says you've got to be somewhat careful. You can start to see uh, some some market pullbacks. Going into the 18s and 19s, you should see triple-digit Dow pullbacks, a strong double-digit Dow in the S&P pullbacks. And if you go higher into the 20s, you're going to see triple-digit Dow closes. But if you're in the 16s, it says, OK, but it's starting to get to the 15s. And then the 14 says, 14 says, now some buying is coming in. So if the VIX does not fall this week, Oh, so it does not rally this week because there's a sudden pullback, but instead it holds steady in the 14s and actually starts to get to the 13s. That to me is just an indication that there is still buying opportunities, stabilizing the market for a little while longer. But I do think based on the work that I do, that we're getting to some kind of a resistance areas in most of the key indices. And now it's going to be stock selection that's really important. And it's so interesting that um, I... I, I, did I mention it? I mentioned in my show. So I just want to do this quickly. Sintas, I'm not sure if I did this now. Sintas is a um, overalls and uniforms, rentals, and it's down 3 and 54 at 245. It's even now at the low of the day. That makes me a little nervous because this to me is an economic barometer. And it's suggesting that maybe in some pockets of the market, of the, of the economy, I should say, there's some recessionary action. Uh, I'm not sure just where it would be right now, but this seems to be indicating something like that. But it doesn't say overall that there should be a recession just yet. So I'm looking at it and saying, keep an eye on Sintas. If it starts, it just filled in the gap, that huge gap. I think it was an earnings uh, thing on the 16th. It closes of July, closes at 239. And the next day, it gaps up and the low is 251. And I filled a little bit in and then it ran all the way to 270.36 all-time high double tops at 270.24 and now it's pulling back so i just wanted to mention that it's not hunky-dory everywhere that you look there was a stock that we used as a benchmark to tell us where we could start to see uh, some kind of a pullback mktx what is that that's market 
Where did it go? Did I type in the wrong place? Let me type it over here. M K T X. Yeah, there it is. Market access holdings. M K T X trading at three forty seventy one down at dollar thirty one. It was at four hundred twenty one point forty five on the six just a few days ago. Hey, this is in that whole area of bonds. We've got to be a little bit careful on the shorter term, but that means that money could be flowing from the bond market to the stock market. That's good. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman sitting for Tom O'Brien. Dow's up 176, S&P's up 70. Be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Hi, folks. Basil Trapp is sitting for Tom O'Brien. Just quickly, so MKTX is an electronic trading platform in the credit market. And look, it's taken a real beating here, 421 down to the 340 area. So I want you to do this quickly, just as we're wrapping up, just got a moment here. The XLF, the financials, leg D, very nice. Look at the cup formation we were talking about. Finally, the financials are getting some strength, but I I, I want to see the 30s again. 30.33 was the high in January of 2018, plums to 22.05. Uh, 28.72 was the last high. I want to see it get to that 28.72, maybe a little digested in the cup and then a little handle and then break out to the upside. So the XLF and uh, the bank stocks are starting to really improve. We do have a bank stock that's up about 20%. I, li I like its action very much. Um, now the IAI, we're also along the IA, which is the broker index. It came back, it pulled back a little bit, but it's at 65. If the brokers, if this ETF, 
I had mentioned a year ago that if it can start to get to the 67s and then the six, turn the 63 to 61 area into support, it's done exactly that. And then break into the 69s, 70s, finally you'll start having people talking about the stock market. This is the most silent mega bull market we've ever seen. Uh, people are just afraid to talk about it. And yet, because of the news that just permeated all the news, about recession and this and that. I think that this is going to be uh, something that gets very exciting. Uh, you can't have a mega top with, in a mega bull market without people everywhere talking about it, just like in 2007 and 8. If you went to the bank, you had about three people standing outside saying on their cell phones, I can't talk right now, I'm getting my mortgage. Blah, blah, blah. Those are tops that are significant. We haven't even got close to that. So still mega bullish, looking at uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good 2019 and 2020. So I just wanted to show those particular areas that I think are really important. So once again, the financials need to get going. It's a different area altogether. And then uh, it's like a Bank of America has Merrill, former Merrill Lynch. That's great. That's part of the brokerage area. So they've got a kind of a double whammy on the upside if everything works out. So uh, we're about to wrap up. Um, I'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. to do Larry Pesavento's show. He's away. And then I'll do my show at, nine, at, at noon. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of the things that do worry me and some of the things that are looking really great. Have a wonderful evening. And thank you for being here. Basil Chapman sitting here for Tom O'Brien. Check out my opening for my daily.